All right, guys, so in this video, I wanted to discuss the history of NRG Stadium, originally known as Reliant Stadium, considered a multi-purpose stadium in Houston, Texas, originally constructed in the year 2000. It was completed in 2002 and has been the home of the Houston Texans ever since. It was the first NFL facility to have a retractable roof, and I'm just going to be talking about what went wrong for NRG Stadium to where it is today in terms of it being a little bit obsolete, the roof never opening, it's a de facto dome, and even when the roof used to open, it created some very strange shadows. I was surprised in doing research that this actually was the first retractable roof stadium in football. Obviously, there had been retractable roof stadiums in baseball, but when you're talking about an NFL stadium, it's a completely different roof you know, to where it's like a rectangle with the four corners. The original capacity is right around 72,000. It is expandable to 80K for bigger events like the Super Bowl. It has hosted the Super Bowl. And one of the really bad things with the stadium is its location. And what I mean by that, if you look at some of these aerial shots of it, you look at the exterior, the actual exterior of NRG Stadium, it's not too bad, especially for a stadium that was originally built in 2000. It comes together nicely. It's not hollowed out. Of course, it, it can't really be hollowed out. It is a completely controlled environment, indoor stadium when the roof is on, which it basically always is. But if you look right next to it, you can see the Astrodome parked like a quarter of a mile away from it, and I just think that's a terrible look. The Astrodome at this point is a concrete, dilapidated mess, probably filled with diseases. There have been rumors that they cannot tear down the Astrodome because of what's underneath it. I'm not sure how true those are, but yeah, this stadium really loses a lot in terms of the exterior look of it with it being surrounded by the Astrodome. A stadium nowadays would never go up like this with an old stadium right next to it. They would 100% knock the stadium down and then build up some type of district more than likely. You know, you take a look at the newer stadiums that are being built today. I mean, I guess outside of the Buffalo Bills, then again, where the Bills Stadium is going in Orchard Park, you kind of need a bunch of parking around there because it's not easy to get to in terms of public transportation. But if you look at Nashville, Tennessee, where their stadium is going, there's a limited amount of parking surrounding it. A lot of these teams really putting an emphasis on the exterior of the stadium. And again, the actual facade of Energy Stadium, it's acceptable. The only issue is the dilapidated mess that is the Astrodome right next to it. Now let's take a look at the interior and let's understand a few different things about NRG Stadium. Number one, the biggest fatal flaw is the completely closed design. Normally, what you get with these dome stadiums, retractable roof stadiums, translucent roof stadiums, you will have one of the end zones be open, meaning there'll be a window right outside of the, you know, right outside one of the end zones that would let in a ton of natural light. NRG Stadium doesn't have it, and I can't really blame NRG Stadium. It was the first of its time. You know, it is what it is, but just the seating configuration is very bland. This is what we were typically used to when it came to NFL stadiums in the early 2000s or the late 90s. The seating design, there's really no creativity. You've got your upper deck wrapping around, but in general... You know, NRG Stadium, both of the sides being blocked by scoreboards, both of the sides being blocked by the upper deck going, really attached all the way around. And then you've got kind of those concrete pillars, which I think look really bad. As for the little natural light above the upper deck on each side, kind of surrounded by the press box, I think that's a nice little look right there, especially for a stadium that went up in the year 2000. The actual retractable roof... It is kind of see-through. It does let in some natural light. You know, when you watch the Houston Texans on TV, it, you know, it, it's not like a New Orleans Saints feel where you can tell it's a dome stadium and it's really dark in there. It does have natural light, but the biggest issue is the roof is never open. And you take a look at Houston, Texas and the climate. They could open it at least two or three times, you would think, in September and October, but they never do. I actually went back to like 2011, 2012, found some one o'clock games where the Texans had their roof open and you can just see the crazy shadow formations that come from the retractable roof because when the retractable roof opens, there's still a massive overhang 
and there's just ridiculous shadows. Maybe that's one of the reasons they don't open the retractable roof for one o'clock games, even if it's perfect out and like 70 degrees because of just the crazy shadows that it creates and players are probably annoyed by it. The Houston Texans were supposed to host a four o'clock game this coming week. I was I would have been really interested to see if maybe they would consider opening the roof because a four o'clock game, maybe you're not dealing with crazy shadows. Unfortunately, that game got moved to one o'clock and really since 2014, they just refused to open the retractable roof. And normally with situations like this, you will get the common excuses of, oh, we keep it closed because the players like it. It gets louder, the shadows, it, all of that comes into it. And also, of course, the other, the biggest thing, if it's not the perfect 67 degree room temperature outside with zero humidity, you know, they can use any excuse in the book to close it. They could say, oh, there's a 5% chance of precipitation or really anything like that. Maybe you would think later in the year because it will get a little bit colder in Texas you know, into December, you would consider opening it. Although at that point, they would probably say, no, it's we've got a low of 55 degrees, so we can't open it. It's always something when it comes to roofs. But just overall, another thing that I didn't realize with this stadium, this stadium sustained damage from a hurricane in 2008, and the Houston Texans had to completely move their schedule around. They had to change their home opener. They didn't start playing home games in the 2008 season until October, and they had to jam all their home games into October, November, and December. Kind of just an interesting fact. It took about a month to repair the damage. It happened on September 12th. The part of the roof was damaged, and there was wind and water damage to other sections of the stadium. There were also large pieces of debris inside the stadium from the hurricane, and the stadium authority declared that the stadium did not suffer significant structural damage except for the roof, and that the Texans would be able to play all eight of their home games at Reliant Stadium, which is now NRG, with the roof open. So while they actually played all of their home games in 2008 with the roof open, and then the roof was fully repaired in 2009, I guess that's one way to get them to open the roof. Yeah, have it have it destroyed by a hurricane, but that kind of reminds me of the Superdome in New Orleans w with Hurricane Katrina, and they had to schedule, you know, they, they had a lot more damage, obviously, with Katrina, but either way, when it comes to NRG, what's wrong with it? I don't really think there's a ton, like, significantly wrong with it, other than the interior design fatal flaw of having the entire upper deck wrap around the whole stadium. That's a big issue. Also, it was, it was a trailblazer, and when you're a trailblazer and you're the first of its kind, it's going to be an issue. It's going to run into some problems because you don't have anything to compare it to, so you're going to do some architectural designs that won't work out, and that's one of them, keeping the entire stadium closed with the upper deck going all the way around, but it is expandable to 80,000 in terms of total seats, which does help them host major events. They host college football playoff games. I believe they're hosting the college football playoff national championship this year. Oh no, that's next year. That's when college football expands to 12 teams because I remember seeing a little uh, poster with NRG Stadium in the background, and they've also hosted several Super Bowls as well. I don't think this stadium is a great Super Bowl host. I think it's probably going to get filtered out here. Although, who knows? Houston, Texas is a happening place. It's a big population center. It fits the bill in terms of it being a dome stadium. So maybe it'll get two or three more cracks at hosting the Super Bowl, although I'm not sure it's going to get harder and harder considering Nashville is very likely going to be in the mix starting in 2028. You've also got... LA obviously in the mix now, Minneapolis with their super stadium, as well as Florida always getting it a few times. So when it comes to hosting a Super Bowl, it's getting very competitive because more teams are building domes, but we will see when it comes to NRG. I think at this point, NRG is pretty much obsolete. It's just the interior seating design, in my opinion, is very ugly. The way the, wrap, the upper deck wraps around, along with those big concrete pipes. I just think those look really bad. Uh, and in general, I would say it has a good 15 to 20 years left in it just because it is a retractable roof stadium. Another interesting thing, it really hasn't received a crazy renovation. Would they consider knocking out one of the end zone seating and, and completely redoing it maybe to put up a window? You know, that would be something interesting. Is it worth the investment? It would be a lot of money. I don't know. It would definitely help the stadium out, though, because this is one where you look, if, if it was built in 2000, opened in 2002, it's getting on the border of possibly, you know, thinking about maybe a major renovation, 
We've seen it with the Cleveland Browns Stadium opening, you know, in the late 90s, 1999. They're already considering a massive renovation. You've got the Carolina Panthers opening in the mid-90s considering a massive renovation. So could a big renovation be the future for NRG Stadium possibly knocking out one of the end zones and putting up a big, big window to really let in some natural light and completely reconfigure the seating, which would help the stadium out significantly. I think the roof design, it is what it is. It does let in natural light. It's not terrible, especially for when it was built. You know, they had to kind of replace some of it after the hurricane. But either way, that is just the story of NRG Stadium. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.